What is up guys, this is Mr. Mick Cuban back here with another cubing video. In this video, I have a surprise, um, but y'all probably already know what it is from the, uh, from the thumbnail and title of the video. Um, but, yeah, but before you, uh, before we get into the intro, it's time to do our Bible verse. This week's Bible verse is Isaiah 6, 1, 1. Isaiah 61, 1. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. Alright, that was Isaiah 61, 1. So... Let's get into that intro. Are you ready for the most amazing thing in the history of cubing? Are you ready for it? Here we go. We are about to unveil the most amazing thing. Mr. McCuban presents the Rubik's Cube Storage Container. So, first thing in here, we have a lid. How do you open it? You get a little notch right here. Then you open it up, and you have an amazing collection of cubes. Cubes not included. Um, so I already put my cubes in there. In this top compartment, um, I have my uh, mains for WCA puzzles, my timer, my uh, lubes, um, my uh, adjustment tools for my Diane version 2, and my two screwdrivers. Um, and... Yeah, so that's in my top container. I have a two by two, through four by four, and a cube, square one, um, mega minx and pier minx. And it has like a little slow close function. So I'll we'll just slam close. All right, and now uh, we have uh, we have the. Uh, uh, and then on the front, we have two drawers. Guess where the drawers are? Well, uh, it wouldn't be that hard, seeing that you already know this is taken. So, you would assume that here and here are the drawers. You're right. And once again, you can't see it, but there is a notch under this tile to stick your fingers in. Here, maybe I can show you the notch. Um, there's a notch. Okay, in here, I have my non-WCA puzzles, uh, uh, sphere shift, um, super floppy axis cube, or axle cube, uh, and windmill. Close that up. One thing I like about this, it's like not blankly obvious that there's drawers there. Because it's like flesh. Um, so, and now our bottom drawer. I have my retired mains. Yes, my a Rubik's brand used to be my main. We all got to start somewhere. Uh, and I have my Xing Xiao Mr. M. Three by three, and then I have my MoU backpack for when I take my cubes someplace. I can just open that up, stuff them in, zip it up, take it. I have my instruction book, and uh, I have my uh, keychain cube that was on my MoU back. That's on my MoU backpack. So yeah, this is it from like a 
standing back view. Uh, yes, I do have the correct color scheme. Thank you for asking. Uh, so I have white, obviously, here. And then right in here, I, um, I have blue. And then you probably won't be able to see it because it's up against the wall. Maybe I can slide it though. It does have casters on it, so that's good. Uh, orange. So yeah, white up. Then uh, blue, orange, green, red. So yeah. Push it back. Yeah, so it has casters on it, which is nice if I want to move it. And I'm trying, I'm thinking, um, I might, this might actually be my filming space. Like, if I'm doing, like, a tutorial, which I probably won't be. I don't really like tutorials doing tutorials um, but like if I'm showing off a cube or doing an unboxing or whatever just like this let me know in the comments down below if this background is too uh, distracting with the uh, with the checkerboard um, yeah I think this will be a kind of cool background to have and then I have a plain blue wall can see my shadow. Um, and yeah. So, uh, first off, y'all may be wondering how I got this. I actually built it with my granddad. My granddad has a wood shop. Um, my granddad has a wood shop. So, uh, I built this in here with him. Uh, oh, uh, and that brings me. So, uh, and then, yeah. So, huge, huge, huge thanks to him. Um, because I obviously wouldn't have been able to build this without him. Uh, and yeah. So, the building process. Uh, we got, I don't actually know the dimensions off the top of my head, but we have, um, uh, we have, we do have, uh, I'm trying to think of a word. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have plywood. That's the main, it's half inch plywood. That's the main thing that puts it all together. Then we put some biscuits in it to, uh, so it would be more sturdy. Um, we glued it together, uh, and, except for the lid, obviously, uh, and then, so, this is a square piece of plywood that these tiles are on. That's a square piece, that's a square piece, and this lid is a square piece, and then this is obviously just a one by three uh, piece, um, and then this is, uh, and then we just put the drawer, and then we made some drawers, and painted it black, painted the front back black to match that, um, and then we, this same thing for this, and then we just use some uh, MDF, I think that's what it's called, uh, to make the tiles to put on. And I decided to, to do it in a checkerboard pattern. Um, and yeah. So I did it in a checkerboard pattern. Uh, painting process, it was semi frustrating because first we had some crinkles we had or that was one of the last things we had but it just wasn't covering well so it took like we did at least seven coats on most of the tiles probably 
Um, so yeah, but I'm very happy with the way it turned out, um, and I think it was definitely all worth it. So yeah, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, uh, I have been brainstorming um, some YouTube ideas. Um, so next week probably I'm going to be uh, next week I'm gonna be doing a um, next week I'm gonna be doing a self-solving Rubik's cube and how to do it yourself at home. So um, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, but before you go, uh, let's do our prayer. Dear God, I pray for all the people with COVID-19. I pray that you would heal them, like I've been praying these last couple weeks. Um, and I thank you for my grandpa and him helping me with this. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed the video, um, bye, uh, for now, uh, try to get a vid that video about the self-solving Rubik's Cube posted next week, uh, and yeah, so make sure to subscribe for, uh, new videos every week, um, they usually come on, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm trying to develop, like, a more consistent uploading schedule so y'all know when to come back but they usually come on Tuesday or Wednesday so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the video uh, make sure to like and subscribe subscribe and turn on the bell notifications uh, to be notified whenever a new video comes out so bye